Options are the easiest way for you to utilize leverage to make money quickly in the market. However, entering options trades is oftentimes very complex. I'm going to show you today how to utilize the Thinkorswim active trade software so that you can enter and exit options with one click of a button, just like you would with equities. Firstly, if you are using Thinkorswim and you would like access to all of my custom coded strategies, indicators, my workspace, they are all available on my website, daytradingstrategies.net, link in the description down below, go check it out. All right, so let's jump right into the fun part of this video. I've got some really cool risk analysis stuff to look at within Thinkorswim options trading as well. We'll do that at the end though. I'm not gonna scam you guys for audience retention or anything. Let's jump right into the fun stuff. So if I go to the trade window and all products, which is the default, this is of course your options chain. You've probably seen this before. If you've clicked on this video, you've probably attempted to trade options using Thinkorswim before. But if you haven't, this is the very typical way I will see someone using Thinkorswim to trade options. Say they want to play a zero DTE, a today being October 9th, 2023, expiration uh, put on SPY. They want to buy this 428 put, call it. They have to click buy there. Maybe they don't want to buy 10, so they have to change their quantity to whatever. Maybe they want to buy two. And then they have to go click confirm and send, or they have to set it to a market order or a limit order, change the limit price, hit confirm and send. And all of that isn't really indicative of scalping. You can't really quickly enter and exit positions if you have to do three or four mouse clicks every time you would like to do so, right? So what we are going to do, which one did I choose? The 428 here. If I want to trade this option, I'm going to right click anywhere in the chain itself and I'm going to go to the send to, and you can choose any one of these colors. I'm gonna send it to four green. I'm gonna send it to four green. And then if I go to my charts over here, you will notice that I already have this linked to green. So it'll be unlinked by default. You link your chart to whatever color you chose to send your option to. And all of a sudden you are now looking at the bar chart of the option itself. So just like you analyze the bar chart of the equity that you want to trade, you can analyze the chart of the option itself, which in and of itself is really amazing. But now let me show you this. I'm going to go to show sidebar in cells and I'm going to turn on my active trader, which I believe is the best part of Thinkorswim. This is the, this is the tool within Thinkorswim that allows you to one click easily trade and see the trade ladder with volume all at the same time, you can now use this to enter and exit trades on this option. And if you don't want, so it's defaulted to buy market and sell market, if you click this cog, you can also set up buy asks, buy bids, you can set up sell asks, you can set up sell bids, all of this is fully customizable, but you can now here, I'll do it. You know what? Let's just do it. It's, it's what? $43. I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend a couple of dollars. I just entered this put at $42. I just entered one of these puts, right? If I go to my monitor window, you will see I am now in this position. I am in a put with one click of a button. Oh man, it's coming down. It's hit my stop loss. This of course, in no way a real trade for me, but all right, now I want to sell. Immediately, I am now out of that position. How much money? This video cost me $4. Guys, please hit the like button. I just spent $4 on this video for you guys. Um, but anyway, you get to see, right? Look at now how easily you can enter options. You can trade options that quickly. And let me give you one more great step here to do as well. So instead of just this one chart, if I split this out to, uh, let's call it two charts here, I can now throw up. So if I type in spy and I go to the uh, five minute, I can now watch, and, and this is maybe a little bit ugly. You can of course make this look however you want to, but I can now watch what the underlying equity that I'm trading my option on is doing alongside the same time taking one click option orders as you just saw me do in a little small live example there, right? So 
really, really amazing. This is, I believe, the best way that you can trade options. And it's all, of course, free. Thinkorswim is a completely free platform. Now, you have to use the brokerage uh, TD Ameritrade, or nowadays it's Charles Schwab. They are currently making the swap over to Charles Schwab. Um, so maybe that's where you'd open your account now. But um, this is all free. There's no commissions uh, with with uh, the trade I just took, other than the small options uh, trade commissions that come with it. Um, and, and the platform itself is free. So all of this can be done very, very easily through something that all you need to do is go open a brokerage account and download the application. I want to show you one more thing, though, as I wrap up the video, another just kind of quick options tutorial within thinkorswim if i go to this analyze tab here this looks i mean this if i go to the trade tab it's it is the options chain right this is the same options chain that you're looking at in the actual uh trade tab but this is simulated so if i right click one of these and i go to analyze buy trade so i'm going to analyze the single buy of a 427 put that expires today that added it down here it's now simulating that i am entered that position it's doing it on 10 let's just change it to one whatever um, and then if i go to the risk profile here you're gonna see how much you would be up on this position up or down of course on this position based on what the underlying equities value is trading at so if by the end of the day spy drops to 420 you're gonna make about 650 bucks right um, and if you notice here, it might be a little bit small. Let me get the white line out of the way. But those red lines at the center of the screen, that's showcasing where the, your break-even points are, right? Where you need to get inside and outside of uh, to make or lose money or to begin making money on this trade, should I say. Um, and this becomes very, very useful. It might not be that impactful. You look at this like, great, no duh. If I buy a put, then it goes down. I'm going to make money. If it goes up, I'm going to lose the $20 that I invested because that's what the option's trading at. But this becomes very impactful. I'm going to remove this trade here. Um, say I want to play an October 17th, 428. I go to analyze buy trade. I want to see what a straddle looks like here. I clicked on straddle there and you can see now kind of my, my uh, break even point. You can see where it needs to be either up or down where it could be for me to make money. You can adjust that. You can go in and adjust. Well, what if I buy a 430 call and a 430 put? Then how much am I up or down? If I change the date to whenever, then what am I up or down? This is just a very, very useful tool that you can also make use of within Thinkorswim options trading. I'm not going to go super, super deep into it right now maybe if you want me to go more deep into this tool in, of, in and of itself let me know in the comment section down below but that's going to wrap up the video today that's how you one click order options utilizing thinkorswim's platform hit the like button if you did enjoy make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more informative videos like this and once again check out my website daytradingstrategies.net if you would like my custom codes within thinkorswim with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and sign out of today's video i will catch you all in the next one